the offensive line has quality depth. I mean, we talked to Jake Brendel today after practice. And Jake Brendel was a Pro Bowl alternate, not this last year, but two years ago. And um, started in the Super Bowl for the NFC champion Niners and started all year at center. And yet he is going to be in the fight of his life for his job because every Drake Nugent can play center. Bryson Mays can play center. Ben Barge can play center. Uh, Nick Zakel, who's Brock Purdy's best friend, by the way, um, you know, and is a versatile offensive lineman. He can play some center. Smart guy, 6'4", 320-pound um, prospect from Fordham. So there's a lot of guys there that can play the center position. And, you know, it, the, Jake Brendel is going to be challenged to keep that job. I mean, he is absolutely going to be challenged. Barch, I think, is probably good enough to beat him out. Um, Barch is an accomplished player, a young veteran. Nugent is a little short, but he's a great prospect. Um, and then you also have Jared Kingston. They're playing Kingston a little bit more at tackle so far. Um, by the way, Spencer Burford has a broken hand, and I don't know how long he's going to be out, but he is going to be out for some period of time. Um, and I don't know exactly what type we'll find out more. And I'm not sure how long he's going to be out, but that came up today that he has a broken hand. So, you know, you, you just never can have enough depth, but I was going to say the one thing I do love about the Niners, my third point is that they, this year they have, they've brought in quality depth. I mean, Dominic Pooney looks like a good prospect. Uh, Jarrett Kingston is a, is a power lifter. Really strong, but really good feet. Um, they're trying him at right tackle. Drake Nugent looks like a good prospect. Bryson Mays has a tremendous lower body for offensive line play. Big, strong, wide, but athletic legs. Uh, ben Barch is a young player. Jalen Moore is a young tackle they really like. And then Zakel, you know, Zakel, a lot of people think don't think much of him because he hasn't done much, and he was a late round pick of the Niners. He hasn't really played; he's been on the bench, but he is. You know, I mean, I've talked to the guy many times. He checks a lot of the boxes that you're looking for in an offensive lineman. He's smart. He's really tough. He's versatile. Um, when I say smart, too, the guy went to Fordham. I mean, he's, he's this guy's really smart. So I'll say this. I mean. You know, Trent Williams is holding out right now. Eventually, he'll be back. Aaron Banks is your starting left guard. Your right guard, it could be Feliciano or it could be Spencer Burford or you never know. I mean, it, it, it could be Dominic Pooney. The right tackle is likely going to be Colton McKivitz. The center is most likely going to be Jake Brendel. But, you know, they could go in a number of different directions based on how Zakel plays and Barch and Mays, and Nugent, and Kingston, and Pooney, and so, uh, you know, and, and they're all really interesting when you watch them in practice. I mean, Pooney is a big, rumbling, athletic guy who loves to hit. Uh, Kingston looks more like a power lifter. I mean, he is, he's got, you know, and, and he really, he, you know, he looks really, really athletic. Uh, Nugent is, is short, but very broad. And he's a smart player. This guy is a really smart player at Stanford. Um, you know, so they're all a little different. Zakel's a tall center, but who can play guard as well. So, I mean, the battle inside, and Brendel even referenced it when we talked to him after practice. I mean, and he said to him, I, I said, hey, do you share with these guys, you know, what your, what your, you know, your tricks of the trade are? Because you got a lot of young guys in this, this camp. Or do you look at it like, man, everybody's, you know, not everybody's a free agent, but, or everybody's out for themselves, but that, you know, maybe you don't share, maybe you don't, you're not as willing to share here. I'm going to, I'm going to share the screen here and we'll, we'll hear what Brendel said here. Um, this is, I thought Brendel, Brendel's a good dude. And this is why, and Brendel's a real pro. This is why. Okay. Here, listen to this answer are the knowledgeable guy who sit in parts. Let me stop that. Let me bring it back to the front. Here's my 
my long wordy question and his eloquent answer. Here it is. Jake, there's a lot of good depth, as you said, in the room. You're a veteran. Is it a competitive situation or do you feel like you are the knowledgeable guy who could impart some wisdom to some of the young guys? Um, I mean, there's, there's always competition. That's just the nature of the league. I feel like as soon as you get comfortable and complacent, that's when you lose your position, you lose your spot. Um, but at, at the same time, I'm not going to be one of those vets that is not an open book. It's not going to help the young guys. Because as a group, we need to succeed. As a group, we need to be as best as we can be. And being kind of selfish and just worrying about myself wouldn't be the best move to get to our end goal. So there you go. And and I love hearing that because that's what you want to hear. You know, it's like you want this guy to share w- wisdom he has. Um, there's a lot of young guys there. I mean, they, this is a very young offensive line room, and they need their veterans to step up. But um, that was takeaway number three is just between Pooney and Kingston and Nugent and Mays and Barch and Jalen Moore, who's not very old, and Zakel. I mean, you got a room full of young offensive linemen behind your starters. That's you know, there's some good there's some good talent there. Now, none of those guys are blue chip. Like, there's not a first round pick there, or a former you know high pick on another team or something. Somebody who's got a blue chip talent. Uh, they're all for the most part, you know, developmental type prospects. But there's a lot of them, and they and there's some good talent there, and I'm sure. Chris Forster probably feels a whole lot better than he did about this line uh, a year ago, at least about the depth. Okay, so that was takeaway number three. Takeaway one, Brock Purdy is actually improving. Takeaway two is the Niners have depth of offensive weapons that's almost nearly unmatched. Takeaway three is that the offensive line may not have a lot, may not look like it's improved at all if you just look at last year's lineup to this year's lineup because it may be the exact same lineup but there's actually quality depth but beneath that's been uh drafted and now it's being developed and i would imagine one or two of those guys breaks in this year and if i had to bet on it i would probably say it's Pooney at right guard that would be my guess but you never know. 